have this little cucumber with it's a spiky one so it's gonna grow big and then we get to eat it and then it's gonna be so yummy nine-year-old blessing bird looks forward to every day after school checking in on the progress of all the seeds she's planted not outside but inside the astoria houses her eggplant is really thriving. It's getting a little bit brown, but it's ready. We just need to cut it off. This new state-of-the-art lab built back in December thanks to a nonprofit called Hannock, the New York Power Authority, and a nonprofit called New York Sun Works. There are 18 hydroponic labs like this one across New York City, but this is the first one of its kind in a NYCHA community center. When I came in, I was like, wow. Yeah. I didn't know they had this going on back here in this room. It's really cool and she loves it. A hydroponic lab is a form of gardening that uses no soil. Instead, grows plants in water and nutrients. This is actually our first lab at a NYCHA center. So this is a very proud moment for us. And yeah, we're looking to expand them um, and bring these programs that could really benefit people of all ages. 87-year-old Claudia Koger, a longtime resident and community activist, is thrilled to see children learning about their environment and sustainability. The kids are even teaching her a few things. I was surprised how New York City children gravitated to the uh, nurtures of agriculture and uh, food and to see my young people that's really enjoying every moment of it. Koger and Bird planting peas together. In a few months, they will be ready. Koger says just like the kids, they're growing so fast. The goal here, to empower young people to learn about agriculture, not from just textbooks, but in real life. Aww.